and the shooter, and that the shootings were random. It's a frightening concept, and it's a frightening scenario, and unfortunately, two people are shot in critical condition, and one is dead. That's the result. Now we're back live at Northeast Detectives. Oh, we are not using the name of the individual who's being questioned by police at this point, since he has not been charged. Though so we do understand search warrants have been obtained to go into his condominium. We also understand police are administering what is known as a powder residue test. That is a test police use, which can uh, find out whether an individual has fired a gun at you, Cam, in Northeast Philadelphia. Thank you, John. Children were kept home today, one day after the murder at the Ardmore Child Care Center, but staff members were at the center today, primarily to meet with psychologists. Officials say many members of the staff have emotions ranging from fury to guilt. Uh, there are a lot of strong emotions in there among the staff about what could I have done, what should I have done, um, did I do the right thing, and uh, so we have some professionals in there today working with the staff. Officials sent home letters to parents today, encouraging them to talk about the incident with their children and assure the children that they are safe. Meanwhile, Trudy Stovall is behind bars with no bail. She is charged with fatally shooting daycare teacher Diane Morse in front of 17 children. Police in Philadelphia have released a more recent picture of Oscar Nino Santos. He is the suspect in the fatal shooting of Felicia Colon a week ago last night in North Philadelphia. In this picture, he appears heavier with close...